My name is Maddie McKicka and I'm one of the admissions tour guides and I lived in Collin Hall for two years. Hi, I'm Chandler and I am your student body president and I lived in Dykstra Hall for two years. And today we're going to take you on a tour of some of the res halls. Hi, welcome to a Dykstra cluster. You'll be in a cluster with about 30 other girls and you have this fantastic common space to get to know each other, hang out, and have fun. Most of our res halls have community bathrooms. They have these nice shelves where you can keep all of your shower stuff. And even though it looks small throughout my whole career, I've never had to wait for a shower or a bathroom. Hi guys, this is what a typical Dykstra room looks like. The beds come as twin XLs and they are adjustable. So if you wanted to have it closer to the ground, you could do that. You do lose some storage that way. Um, the dressers fit best if they're elevated, but make sure you bring command hooks and painters tape to decorate your So this is the desk area. It does come with a very convenient desk lamp for all of your studying needs. And then over here is the closet space. So you and your roommate get one of these spaces. You have the storage down here, the storage up there, the vanity area over here comes with the lights. So you have to get ready in the bathroom and you'll be all set to go. So I'm here in the Dykstra lobby and this is where many events are hosted for the hall. So as an RA, you plan events for your hall and your residents and that's a perfect way to get to know people and your RA will also act as a great resource for the entire year. So these are the community kitchens. There's one of these in every single rest hall on campus, but this is what Collins looks like. So you have access to a full fridge and freezer. You have a stove in case you ever wanted to cook anything besides ramen and an Easy Mac. And in case you do, we got microwaves for that over here. Oh, didn't see you there. So this is one of Collins' study rooms where they're open 24 hours for you guys to come do your studying or your reading for fun. So this is a typical room in Colin. In Colin, you can elevate your beds and loft them, which gives you some more space to bring a futon, bring a TV. We did that my freshman year so we could watch the Cubs win the World Series. Most of our residential halls for freshmen don't have air conditioning. Now, it's only the first couple of weeks that are a little too hot. So make sure to bring a box fan for your window or a clip-on fan for your desk just to get the air flowing in here. Here is a room in Scott. These rooms are gonna look similar to Wyckoff, Lichty, Durfee, and even Phelps. So to get into the res halls, you put in a five digit code that you're given before you get to Hope, and you scan your ID, and this light will turn green so you can get inside. If you ever get locked out, if you don't have your ID, just call this number and one of your RAs will come and let you in.